focus studies are there, uh, the School of English Language Studies. And then in uh, at the Daniel J. Patterson campus, um, this is where we have the Canadian Food and Wine Institute, the School of Hospitality, Tourism and Sport, the School of Environment and Horticulture, and the School of Business and Management. So one of the things I wanted to focus on, because I felt like a lot of the questions that Rahul had sent over to me are really focused on how Niagara College will support you. So I talk a little bit about our student services. We have health services at each campus. We have a doctor and nurses at each campus, and uh, you, student, you're going to have uh, gardening insurance, which covers uh, your medical needs. We have uh, support and advisement. So we have international student advisors who are there to support you, give you academic advising, counseling. Um, if you're having a hard time adjusting to life in Canada, you could go see them and they could give you some referrals to additional resources to help you with anything related to immigration. So if you, um, you know, when you're ready to, I know many of you want to um, study and then after apply for a postgraduate, that's international student advisors will support you with. We also have uh, an employment support. So if you're, for example, or in helping you find work uh, when you graduate, they help you with resume writing, cover letter writing, et cetera. Also preparing for your interviews in Canada. It's going to be probably uh, different than what you're used to in India. We have athletic and recreation. And so one of the things we really believe at Niagara College is that it's not just about the academics, it's about the whole student. And we want you to come and we want you to work hard, but we also want you to play hard. And that means, um, and for some of you, maybe athletics is a, is a way to an outlet for that. It is for me, definitely. So uh, we have uh, great athletic facilities that at each campus that you're going to have access to. Um, we also have housing and accommodation support. So our housing team, um, we have a housing coordinator at each campus and they're there as a resource for you uh, that you can use. So um, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna take you to some pages on our website now that can really help prepare you for your visit to Niagara College, but also answer where you can find answers to a lot of the questions that you may have right now. And one of the things I just wanna say, um, I actually had it on the last slide at the top here. It's called um, NCDNA. And it's something that we say that all staff and faculty have at Niagara College. And, and we really are passionate about students. We're passionate about student success. And we really want to see each of you shine when you come. And I want you to know, so we have an NC family and we want you to come and be a part of that family. And I'm sure some of your parents are, are a little bit nervous about you traveling uh, right now. And of course, um, you'll only be able to travel if, if uh, the government approves that. And, and we know that there's different health authorities that are making decisions that are out of our control. But when you do come, when it is safe for you to come, we want you to know that um, we're here to support you and uh, you'll be a part of our NC family and, and we'll, we'll take care of you there. Okay, so I'm going to exit this and take you to some different web pages. Can you still see my screen? Yes, okay. Okay, so I just wanna show you. So this is the Niagara College um, website. And right now, um, if you go to international.niagaracollege.ca, it's going to take you to some updates on the coronavirus. And here you're going to find a lot of resources that are going to answer questions. So in this top right um, here, you can see we have frequently asked questions. So if you go here, it's going to take you to questions that each of you are probably asking. Some of these, um, you can see there's actually a column that says new current or future student. So you can go and take a look at this and see which of these questions are at the top of your mind and which ones uh, you want to review. Um, so this is also where news and announcements will be. So keep an eye on this page because once our president makes the announcement next week, regarding uh, program delivery for the fall, it's going to be posted here. 
And one of the things uh, the college is doing is, is, is when we post it, we're going to have very detailed information for each program so you know uh, what that delivery will look like. Um, so please keep your eye on this site. I also wanted you to see this. Um, so this is International Student Services website. So you can access a lot of these things just by coming on the Future Students tab through International. So uh, we do have orientation for you when you come to campus and, and please attend that when you come and please come and introduce yourself to me. Let me know that we, you know, we met on this webinar today and that you're a student coming through Go Cool. Go cool. And uh, I, love, I like it when I get to meet the students that are coming from our partners. So please introduce yourself, but it's important that you participate in orientation so you can learn about all the services on campus. Um, there's social events that you can participate in so you can make new friends. Um, we have a very large Diwali party every fall, which is really a lot of fun that you need to participate in. Um, again, our housing services there, healthcare, and we have already. Um, somebody had asked about uh, student rights and responsibilities. Um, you know, given the current protests in the United States, so what, you know, what is our policy on racism or how do we approach bullying on campus? So this is our Student Rights and Responsibilities Office, and they have a student code of conduct that you can review, and this is a code of conduct that all students uh, need to adhere to, and then if something happens, you, there's a, there's a, um, a procedure for filing a complaint. So this is an office that can support you if, if you're, for any reason at all, you're feeling um, unsafe or bullied or and have experienced any threats. But by all means, Niagara College prides itself as, as being an, an, an inclusive educational environment. Like I said, we have a very diverse campus and our faculty and staff and students really embrace that. Another thing you can do to prepare yourself, um, we have these modules. Um, it's called, uh, so we say, are you NC ready? So we have, um, we call it BNC ready. So these modules are developed. These are um, self-guided modules that you can take uh, and you can go through each of these and it'll help you prepare. So uh, be travel ready, be housing ready, be airport pickup ready. So all the questions that you have about arriving to Canada there. So are you arrival ready, immigration, culture shock, um, education ready, so are you prepared to study in Canada? And so some, uh, some of the concern was around online learning, so we're adding resources to this module about learning online, because we know this is, this is a new challenge for you, and many of you haven't done it before. So this is where we're going to have all these resources for you. Uh, be timetable ready, be NC Tech ready, so becoming familiar with the platforms that we use. Um, we use Blackboard as an online learning uh, platform. So you're going to not online learning, but a learning platform, um, a learning platform. So you're going to need to learn how to use that um, orientation. So you can see here again, it's the student rights and responsibilities, academic policies. These are all the things. And so um, I know that if we knew if, if students do need to self quarantine, there's going to be a resource here for you built on how to do that when you come. So this is a great page for you to, to check out as well. So I know I've been talking a lot, but I, I, I wanted to address a lot of the questions um, that were sent to me in advance. And I, and I hope that I've been able to address some of your concerns and questions. But I think now what we can do is um, open up the floor. And then if some students have questions, um, then we can, we can certainly address those. Uh, Raul, I, I can't hear you. Ms. Johnny. Yes. I just want to make a small announcement for all of our participants. In case due to some technical error, the session gets dropped. Kindly, please, all, of, all the participants, kindly re, uh, log in to the meeting ID. Yeah, Johnny. So I got a couple of queries from the students. Sure. Right. In case the particular uh, program, which has been only offered by Niagara College for the September intake, and if he or she doesn't want to go ahead 
for uh, uh, online then what would be the case because the program has been not offered in the month of january for january in case right so if if um if a student does not want to uh, study online then they do have the option of withdrawing um, so one of the things they're also looking at for really high uh, demand programs is can we offer that program that doesn't normally start in January? Could we offer it in January? So that's another consideration um, that the academic areas are looking at. So we know that, so if there's a high demand program, um, especially for international students that we're not able to deliver um, on campus in September, can we start that program? in January. Uh, so, so again, that's going to be part of the announcement that's coming out. So I think that for each of you, once you see that the announcement over the next uh, week and a half, that's when each of you will have to make a decision about what you want to do based on what's happening with your program. So uh, you, you'll need to make a decision if you want to study online. So if you, if you don't want to defer, you can withdraw if it's going online, by all means. Okay. Jody, can you can you see the chat box? Um, yes. Yeah. So the first question I have already raised on behalf of one of our students. The second question is that can Niagara College arrange the self quarantine facility for the new arrivals in September 2020? Yes. Uh, so I I know that our as I mentioned I know that our housing team is is working on that right now of how we will support students in self-quarantining um, i can't be specific right now about what will happen i think for us as a college a lot of this again is going to depend on um, what's happening um, with the program delivery and also with international travel because right now there's still not international travel permitted so we we really don't know but I, I can tell you that our team is working on solutions for this and um, we will have updates as soon as it's available okay the other day i had a discussion with one of our canadian institutional partner Johnny. they said that the uh, if the student requires a certain arrangements to be made by the college and so they may provide uh, some hostel quarantine of course it would be on a chargeable basis so can we look forward for such uh, yeah, arrangements are, made by Niagara yeah, they, College? They are, they are certainly, yes. They, the, I know that the housing team is exploring options, but I really can't um, say what, what solutions they've come up with yet, but I, I know that we will support the students with that. Okay, thank you. Then we got a next question that, uh, what about the fee structure for fall intake in Niagara College giving any scholarship to the students transferring to winter intake? Oh, transferring to winter intake? Yeah. Um, so we haven't, um, that hasn't been decided yet, but that's certainly a point that I can, I can bring forward to senior management. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, then there is a program. If the program will deliver online, what will be the timing time schedules of delivering the lecture? Because the sitting in India, there would be a time difference. Yes, I know about the time difference <laughs> because we're working constantly with our Indian partners. So I know we also know that that's part of the challenge for international students. And we we don't just have students in India. So we also have students in Japan, which is a 14-hour difference. So India, Canada, it's nine and a half hours. Um, we, we're definitely taking that into consideration that there's different uh, time zone challenges and also we know that different areas will have different internet challenges as well. So these are all considerations uh, that, that uh, they're taking into account when they're making their decision. Yeah. And I what think that'll those? be up, um, up to this. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. One of our students has raised that the student got deferred from May to September. And with that, they got a, a new offer letter, defer offer letter with a fee, new invoice. Right. So uh, the question is that do they need to pay some more uh, additional tuition fees amount or not? 
or we are going to take care of the students. Okay, so I have brought that concern forward um, to uh, my director and we haven't received a decision back on that, but I can follow up and then um, I will communicate back with Go Cool about uh, what will happen with that. Because we do recognize that for students that were automatically deferred, um, it might be, a, it, it's a challenge. They've already paid for their fees. Uh, some of them have already applied uh, for visas or being successful in getting their visas. So those fees have been paid. So um, that is something that we're, we've, we've raised this concern and we're waiting for a decision on. Fine. So participants, any other few questions, kindly put it in the chat box. Otherwise I'm through with the, the, the questions that has been sent by many of the participants. Oh, somebody asked about um, the fee structure. So yeah, because you're not, if, if you're studying online in the fall, you wouldn't be paying for any additional ancillary fees. So you're not going to be paying for your athletic fee or your bus pass or your health insurance. So all of the ancillary fees that have been included with your tuition um, will not be charged to you. So if you've already paid those fees, then there's going to be a credit on your account. Um, if you pay the full year fees, you can decide um, what you want to do. So if you pay for one term fees, then the credit on your account can be applied towards your second term fees when you arrive, when you're going to be paying that. If you've paid a full term fee, full year fees, and there's excess on your account, you can request a refund when you come. Okay, so we would give you uh, a refund. Um, but in any event here, you wouldn't be charged for any ancillary fees, um, only the tuition portion, if there's online delivery. Okay. Fine. So any, any further questions? Participants, any further questions? <laughs> 